Tesla is the biggest AI project in the world. I'll go through her today's detailed Tesla stock update and Kathy Wood is buying more Tesla stock again. This is after buying Tesla stock on April 2nd and 1st and March 28th and March 25th and March 22nd and March 14th and March 6th and March 5th. And so ARK Invest must be really happy to see this news. Tesla will unveil its robot taxi on August 8th. And Kathy Wood must be really happy looking at this new Post from Tesla showing how many FSD miles have been driven. Tesla owners have now cumulatively driven over 1 billion miles on FSD, a 50% increase in the last 90 days. Now I can only speculate, but I think Kathy Wood is gonna look at this chart and say, this is the nicest tip I've ever seen right here. Look at that vertical line. Pay attention to this news. Clearly today's reporting and subsequent market reaction was yet another sign that I think many analysts are not factoring in the autonomy opportunity into Tesla price expectations. And Ark Invest here is basically reiterating their $2,000 five-year Tesla stock price target. Well, actually it's now a four-year price target. Tasha also just said that Ark Invest is working on updating the price target of Tesla stock. And is it going to be higher? Well, here's what Kathy Wood said. This is from a few weeks ago. Therefore, it will be higher. Tasha just dropped a hint that the next Tesla stock price target that they are going to release will be released very soon. She said, stay tuned. The previous year Tesla stock price target was released on April 20th, so I expect it to come out roughly at the same time this year. The chief futurist of ARK Invest, Brett Winton, shared some thoughts about the latest Tesla stock news. Go back to 2016. Imagine learning that Tesla has changed the priority order and production timeline for the right-hand drive Model 3 versus left-hand drive. And then reporting out Tesla is scrapping its long-touted Model 3. Reuters did not mention anything about FSD when they released that article. Strategically, even as FSD becomes robotaxi capable, Tesla will still need to sell units into geographies, for example, Europe, that are intentionally subjecting their populations to regulatory privation, which we have just seen. They basically want your vehicle to ask you for permission before making a turn or dodging an accident basically oh uh, an accident is coming up uh, press allow oh you're too late that's one reason why i left europe by the way because doing business there is just so much more difficult you basically have paperwork for paperwork it's crazy tesla will need data to train fsd on those driving cultures and will want to prime the pump with unit supply for when regulatory authorities ultimately come to their better senses but it makes sense that those geographies will fall back in the priority order as tesla becomes more confident in robotaxi commercialization crudely the net present value of a commercialized robot taxi to Tesla is 50x that of a $25,000 vehicle sold once, says Brett Winton. And that's because you sell a $25,000 car once, you yield an optimistic $2,500 in income once. Deploy a robot taxi at $1 per mile, yield $25,000 in income annually. One robot taxi is worth 50 $25,000 car sales on a present value basis. Indications that Tesla is more confident than the latter model are massively positive. He presents us with some very rough math, a robot taxi operating 12 hours a day at 25 miles per hour does 100,000 miles per year. There are a trillion miles addressable at less than $1 per mile per hour research and a 50% platform fee and 50% operating margin on that net revenue, Tesla takes off $25,000 in operating earnings. Net present value difference over seven years at a 10% discount rate yields a 50x difference. Lots of ways to get there, but it's obviously materially more value. I actually just updated my Tesla stock valuation model yesterday, and my numbers are significantly different from what ARK Invest writes here. However, I am all in Tesla stock in my stock portfolio. So our conclusion is very similar in a sense that Tesla stock is going to go up way up in the long term. So if you want to see what I see and why I am all in in Tesla stock in my stock portfolio, feel free to click the link down below and join my Patreon and check out my valuation model. I mean, Kevin replied to Brett Winton, 3.2 trillion miles driven in America annually per 2022. Let's assume 100% of America and 0% of international so everyone uses robot taxis in america even at one penny per mile one hundredth of bread that's still 
32 billion dollars per year net would be about 16 billion dollars to tesla or 50 percent more than their annual earnings today however there's one more thing that is being completely ignored there will be many more miles driven because so why will you want to get into a stinky bus when you can call yourself a private robot taxi have no crazy people around you and sit in silence or we can listen to music as loud as you like robot taxis will kill public transportation in most cases i'm so in agreement with Farzad here in the age of AI, Tesla and X appear to be gigantic data modes. Also, we would have to consider people might drive more, but there would be competition, etc., etc. That's why I'm saying even at just 50% of one hundredth of what Brett is saying, yes, this is a big deal long term. So long term, Brett and Kathy Wood have the right vision on this end. This was only the US. You know, there's also China and there's also Canada and Mexico and uh there's all of europe and africa and south america however i just did something that i usually don't do i watched a full video from meet kevin and in the short term he is not bullish at all about tesla so my understanding is he's not short anymore and in the long term he is a pretty big bull but not in the short and maybe not even in the medium term maybe next one to two years